So yeah, more expensive sawmills are better. You do get what you pay for. The real question is, do you need that or, or can you even afford it? Now I'm assuming you're gonna be running this by yourself and so you need to be able to work day in and day out. Now sure, you can get a helper or bust your hump, uh, but I'm talking reliable and regular expectations here. I'm working yourself to the ground to prove me that you can cut 2,000 board feet a day on an LT10 in a day, well, good for you. Do that five days a week, 50 weeks a year. I generally tell people to buy the biggest sawmill you can afford uh, because, well, you tend to grow into your equipment. There's only so many hours available to work, and that's really up to you, but it's pretty hard to grow beyond your equipment capabilities. So let's say you want to saw a thousand board feet a day. Okay, so you buy a manual thousand board feet a day sawmill. You will never be more efficient than a thousand board feet a day. Not to mention, if you're averaging 25 cents a board foot for your saw rate, you're making about 31 bucks an hour before any expenses, which just isn't that much. Now let's say you buy a hydraulic sawmill and you can cut 2,000 board feet a day, but you still only need a thousand board foot. Well, now you're working half days and making 62 bucks an hour. You get a big order and increase in production is just as simple as working a full day. Uh, or better yet, maybe you've been stocking up on lumber since you can run faster and you might just have the lumber already there ready to go, which is even better. Not to mention anything else that goes into running a business. Uh, so don't expect to be running eight hours a day, all day, cutting lumber anyway. Now, on the other hand, if you do buy that manual thousand board foot a day sawmill, uh, sure, you can saw your thousand board foot a day, but if you get a larger order or need more capacity, well, now you're kind of working overtime to make up for it. Uh, last time I checked, you don't really charge customers more money for larger orders. Usually those guys want a discount. So now you're working overtime for less money per board foot. That also puts the squeeze on your business, family, and just living life. Uh, what's that worth to you? Reality is you might do this a couple times and then just start turning down work because you can't keep up. And then that limits your efficiency even more. So now the only way to increase production is to upgrade. The advantage here is sawmills are generally easy to resell, but you never really know. But usually you'll be just fine selling your first mill and getting a bigger one. But just remember that's gonna take time and there's always gonna be some expense involved with that at switch. So if you wanna make a go at this sawmill business game, put your best foot forward. You can always upgrade your operation to get 3,000, 4,000 board foot a day, uh, but you're really getting into needing employees and extra equipment like edgers, resaws, log handlers, and other stuff. Uh, not to mention you gotta sell all this lumber.